Welcome to today's tutorial. So today we're looking at tutorial sheet three, and from tutorial sheet three we'll be looking at question one. And um, uh, please, if you have not subscribed to the channel, kindly do so, uh, because um, yeah, because uh, you might end up missing some videos that I'm going to be posting. All right, so let's quickly begin. So the question says uh, define an operation star on the set of numbers by this so this is our um, this is our operation and then the question is is star a binary operation on the set of real numbers give a reason for your answer so this question whenever you find it anywhere uh, when we talk about real numbers you need first to understand what real numbers are real numbers are just numbers uh, are numbers in, in, short, in short it's just a set of all uh, numbers yeah either rational or irrational numbers so the simplest definition of real numbers is just a set of rational and irrational numbers when you combine rational numbers and irrational numbers you come up with a set called a set of real uh, real numbers so from there so if they ask you so meaning for real numbers are coming from negative infinity uh to positive infinity so these are real numbers and then the the question here if they tell you to say you start a binary operation on the set of real numbers using this operation here you test what you've been given this side on your right hand side you test it by trying to plug in any number that is a real number or that is in a given set and then see whether whatever answers that you are going to be getting maybe if there is going to be an answer which is going to be undefined in other words when they ask you this question they are simply asking you to say uh, is there a way that you can make this operation undefined by using a set of real numbers if there is no way then star is uh, a binary operation on the set of real numbers and then when there is a way of which i mean by which you can make this operation undefined then star is not a binary operation on real numbers and for me personally i uh, i believe the only way you can make uh, you can make any given operation or a function undefined is um, or the only situation where you can have something to be undefined is when you have a fraction maybe x over y and then if they give you something like this just not to say uh, when we talk about real numbers when you talk about uh, whole numbers as long as that set which you've been given here has a zero somewhere you know to say when you put a zero where there's y here this operation will be undefined so the only as uh, the only way you can have or well, the only situation where you can have an undefined operation is when you have a fraction somewhere but if there's no fraction the uh, i mean the the what is the 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 given uh what is the the, the given operation rather this t this term is uh uh, a binary operation on real numbers yeah so in other words so here the answer that you can give here you say is I mean the question is is that a binary operation on the set of real numbers the answer is yes and then give a uh, reason for your answer it's because there is no real number that can be replaced or that that can be put on either a or b uh, to make this operation undefined so let's quickly move on to the second uh, question, which is this one. Is the operation commutative? So for co commutative, um, for commutative law, we know to say it's just the uh, it's just the way you are. It's just the change of the arrangement. So commutative normally. Uh, okay, let me do this. Let me give an example. If you have one plus two the answer will be 3 but if you have and then if you have uh, you start with 2 plus 
1, you still have the answer to be 3. So this simply means that this operation here, which is addition, is um, uh, is what is uh, commutative. And then same applies to multiplication. When you say 2 times 3, 2 times 3 you get 6. And then 3 times 2, you still get uh, the same 6. So 2 times 3 is 6, 3 times 2 you still get the same 6. So, um, so uh, in other words, uh, multiplication is also commutative. Let's now, you can also test division and subtraction. You see whether they are commutative or not. So in other words, or in conclusion, commutative is just, um, commutative law just defines uh, the arrangement of, uh, what's this? Or it just talks about the arrangement of terms in a given expression. Okay. So let's quickly uh, now check if what we've been given is commutative. So when you've been given such an operation, or any operation, you can either use letters to show that it's commutative or not, or you can use numbers. So you can say, uh, let A star B be equal to X uh, star Y. So meaning while there's, uh, while, while there's B there, you can put uh, X, then while there's A, you can put Y. So when you say X star Y, you have your answer to be um, X to the power Y. And then when you say Y, sorry, this one is going to be Y star X. So let's do this. So you're going to have y star x, I mean y to the power x, and then when you have y star x, this will give you your solution to be x to the power y. Then when you look at these two expressions here, are they the same? So if they are different, then uh, star is not, uh, or star does not, oper uh, I mean does not, um, obey the commutative law or rather uh, the operation is not commutative same applies to associative so associative um, it also associative just talks about um, the arrangement of brackets in short you just change the brackets like for instance the first question on I mean the third question here if you find for this one you can also come and find for these two you start with these two and then end with the with three yeah so in other in conclusion for commutative a star b should be equal to uh, b star a but when you look at this expression when you interchange them you not have the same answer so if you want you can use numbers you can get two different numbers Try to put them where there's A and B and then see if you're going to get the same answer. If you find, let's say for instance, if you take uh, 2 and 3, you try first to find 2 star 3. And 2 star 3 is just going to give you 2 to the power, I mean 3 to the power 2, which will give you 9. And then when you find the 3 star 2 is this will just be 2 to the power 3 which will give you 8 so if these two numbers are not equal then it's not commutative so since in this case the numbers are not equal they are, they've not given us the same answer meaning the operation is not commutative same applies to associative you just change the brackets so let's uh, move on to the next question so the next question is evaluate this. So evaluating this is simple and straightforward. You always follow body mass since this is also part of mathematics. You don't forget about body mass. So what we do now is uh, we just simply say uh, so a we write the formula a star b is given by b to the power a. So we start with what is in the brackets there. 
So we start with three star uh, two. So we do this, and then we put a star outside negative two. So this one is just the same as where there is B, we put two. Where there is A, we put three. Then we say star negative one. So this uh, will simply just give us uh, eight star negative one. So eight star neg oh sorry this is supposed to be negative two not negative one. Okay, so eight star negative two. So eight star negative two, and then so what we do is. Um, we can uh, now find for this one so we say negative 2 uh, 8 star 8 star negative 2 is just the same as negative 2 and then raised to power 8 following this same uh, expression so when you raise negative 2 to the power 8 since 8 is an even number we expect the answer to be positive and then 2 raised uh so 2 raised to the power negative is just 2 256 okay so this is the solution for the last part so thank you very much for watching today's tutorial if you have not yet subscribed to my channel kindly do so make sure that you subscribe to my channel and then um Make sure that you subscribe to my channel, don't forget. And mind you, there's a telegram group where I'll always be posting uh, the tutorial videos. So far, I've posted a lot of video videos there. Then now, today I've started tutorial sheet 3 on binary operations. So, if you are interested in joining the telegram group, you can simply just inbox me. Shalom, shalom. Shalom again.